Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to New Zor Education. Um, this is the last short lecture about uh, trigonometric function uh, taking certain values in basic for basic uh, values of argument, basic angles. So today we'll talk about cosecant, and angles which I'm talking about are 0, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, and pi over 2. Now, the most important tool which I'm using is the definition of the cosecant of x, which is 1 over sine. So if I know the sign, I will just invert it, and that's how I will get the edges for these angles, right? So, if this is my sign, sine of 0 is 0, sine of pi over 6, which is 30 degrees, is 1 half, pi over 4, which is 45 degrees, that's square root of 2 over 2, now this is 60 degrees, this is square root of 3 over 2, and this is 90 degrees, which is 1. So, knowing that, what is the value of 1 over sine for these angles? So the cosecant takes value of, doesn't exist in this particular case, because it's invert. Uh, this is 2. This is 2 over square root of 2, which is uh, square root of 2. This is 2 over square root of 3, which is 2 square root of 3 over 2, over 3, sorry. And this is 1. Now, uh, sine is an odd function. That makes cosecant odd function as well. So knowing these values, you can always calculate what's the values for the corresponding negative angles. It will be just negative these values. Also, you know that cosecant is a periodic function, since sine is a periodic function, and the period is 2 pi, so you can add 2 pi, subtract 2 pi, and also you know that this this property of sine so if you add pi 180 degree you will invert the, the sine which is an ordinate of an angle so that actually makes exactly the same rule for cosine uh, for cosecant so cosecant of x plus pi also will be equal to so, this plus the fact that it's odd and per periodic function is sufficient to get the value of the function for any nice angle, like 270 degree, for instance, um, around the unit circle. Um, very short lecture. Again, it's just as a reference material. You don't have to remember this. Everything is derivable. That's what's very important. You can derive the value from the sine, and even sine for major angle, you don't really have to remember because you can always derive it using the triangles. It's either 30-60 triangle or 45-45 right triangle. Uh, that's it for today, another small lecture, and uh, then I will concentrate on a little bit more important properties to trigonometric functions. Thank you very much.